at the difference between law and grace. Now, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So we need to understand the law was given uh, so that we might understand where we've gone wrong. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, we're heading down to hell, and God does not want that for you. And that's why I'm coming here tonight, to bring you the message of hope and salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There's no other way whatsoever. So we want to look at the difference between law and grace. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 17, For the law was given by Moses, as I've said, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. The law shows us up for what we really are in the sight of God. Guilty, hell-deserving sinners, that's what we are when we're born into this world. Now we need to become children of God. We need to be born again into God's family through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. He was crucified for you and for me. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Uh, John 15 verse 22, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Romans 5 verses 17 to 21. For if by one man's offence, that's uh, Adam, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. And so the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, as I've said. There's absolutely no other way to get to heaven. If you want to get to heaven, you'd have to come through the person of Christ. Otherwise, you'd never, ever be there. And you and I are heading down to hell by default. That's the problem. Because of our sin. Our sins have separated between God and ourselves that he will not hear. And yet there is a way back to God from the dark paths of sin. That way is through the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the Son of God. The one who loved us enough to die upon the cross for you and for me. Yes, yeah, it says here, um, Therefore, as by the offence of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men under justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. The obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how we can receive the righteousness of God so that we can enter into heaven. So we cannot be in heaven because of our sin. Our sins have shut us out of heaven. And yet there is a way back to God, as I've said, from the, from the dark paths of sin. And that way is through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one way. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Moreover, the law entered that the offence uh, might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. But as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness, unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. It's all about Christ. We've got to come to Christ to be saved. There's no salvation outside of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith in Him? The one whom to know is life eternal. Eternal life is only found, as I've said, in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. There is absolutely no other way to get to heaven. Neither is there salvation. This is Acts 4, verse 12. If you want to look it up, make sure I'm telling the truth. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You must be saved if you ever want to be in heaven. Cannot be in heaven apart from salvation, the salvation which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
the Lord Jesus Christ will either be your saviour or he's going to be your judge. What will it be for you? God does not want to have to judge you, but he will if you die without Christ as your saviour. He'll be your judge. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's very simple and that's why most people are missing out on God's salvation because they will not come in repentance toward God which is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and God promises you everlasting life. Remember, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's only found in the Lord Jesus Christ alone, my friend. There is absolutely no other way, as I keep on saying, to heaven. We've got to come by the Lord Jesus Christ, otherwise we'll never ever be in heaven. So the Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul tonight. Will you come to Christ to be saved? Will you put your faith in Him, the one whom to know is life eternal? Yes, it says here, Moreover, the law entered that the offence might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ tonight, my friend. It's always about Him. You know, the whole Bible speaks of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Old Testament as well as the New Testament is all the way through it. He's the beloved Son of the Father. The Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. Is He your Saviour? Have you put your faith in Him? As I said, the Lord Jesus Christ will either be your Saviour or He's going to be your Judge. What will it be for you? God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. So, it says here um, that as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Grace is God's favour and kindness toward men, women, boys and girls. God has had compassion upon us. God could have let us all go to hell and be done with it and be totally justified in doing so. But he wanted to rescue us from going down the hill. And that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die so that you and I could be saved. So that you and I don't have to go down to hell. There's absolutely no point going to hell because God has made the way of escape. God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Romans 8 verses 3 to 9 For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, notice the words carefully, in the likeness of sinful flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ is not a sinner like you and I are when we're born in this world. God wants to make you from a sinner into a saint. He wants to give you his righteousness, which means you can enter into heaven. So we cannot be in heaven because of our sins. Our sins are shutting us out of heaven. But the Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul tonight. Yes, for what the Lord could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, 
God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemns sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And so, once someone believes on the Lord Jesus Christ, they receive the Holy Spirit inside of their body. And the Holy Spirit gives them the power then to please God and do the right thing. The Holy Spirit will give us, uh, the new birth will give us new desires. And we won't want the things that we once craved. All these sinful, uh, you know, pleasures and things will basically drop away. And you'll have different desires because you become a child of God. When we're born in this world, we're actually the children of the devil, that is, spiritually speaking, I'm not saying your dad's the devil, but spiritually speaking, in God's sight, we are the children of the devil. This is why we need to be born again. It's absolutely essential and absolutely urgent that we are born again. Because if we don't, if we're not born again, we can never enter into heaven. God wants us to be in heaven. But we cannot get there apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The one who died on the cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Yes, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, in other words, an enemy against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh, that is, those who are not saved, those who are not believers, cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh. Speaking to Christians here, they are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Galatians 2.16, uh, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. In other words, keeping the commandments of, the, of God will never ever get us to heaven. We've got to come through the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got to put our faith in the finished work and the person of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who loved us unto death, even the death of the cross. Yes, I'll just repeat that, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So, keeping the commandments of the Lord will never ever get us to heaven. But the thing is that the law was given by Moses, I said earlier, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And so the way to heaven is only through the Lord Jesus Christ. Faith alone in Christ alone. That will give you eternal salvation. That salvation is found not in a man-made religion. Man-made religion will take us down to hell, my friend. We've got to come to the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. We've got to put our faith alone in Him for our eternal salvation. Yes, for by the works of the law uh, shall no uh, flesh be justified. Galatians 3 verses 21 to 26 Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily or truly righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterward be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. 
But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So that's what we need to do. We need to put our faith in Christ Jesus, in the Lord Jesus Christ, to become a child of God. Never ever get to heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ and his wonderful sacrificial death upon the cross. He said, No man taketh my life from me, I lay it down to myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. So he did just that. Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried. Not the way to heaven? Full hand, sorry. Bless your name. Not one? Have a good night. Yes, Christ died for our sins according to scriptures and he was buried. Praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour, my friend. He wants to save your soul from a long, lost eternity in the lake of fire and brimstone, lake of fire and sulphur. God does not want us to go there. And that's why, as I keep on saying, the Father sent the Son to be the saviour of the world. The question is, is he your saviour? You need to make him yours because if you die without the Lord Jesus Christ, you will end up going down to hell and God does not want you to go down to hell, my friend. And that's why I come here tonight to bring you the message of hope and salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one who loved us enough to die upon the cross. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. It says in Luke 10 and verses 25 and 28, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So here's the first problem. He says, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Now, we cannot get to heaven by doing good works. And that's, you know... It's obvious in the sight of God, but it may not be obvious to us. Many people uh, think that if their good works outweigh their bad works, well then God will let them into heaven. It's just not the case. We've got to understand that God isn't evaluating people on that basis. He's evaluating people on what they do with Jesus Christ, what they do with his Son. That will determine your eternal destiny. It's either going to be heaven or it's going to be the lake of fire for eternity. God does not want you to go to hell and the lake of fire for eternity. That's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross for you and for me. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Have you realized that you're a sinner? Have you admitted that fact to God? You know, that's called repentance. It's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. That is the promise of God that he would give eternal life to all those who put their faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So this is the only way to heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's absolutely no other way to get there. And we must understand that we're all in big trouble with God. Why? Because of our sin. Our sins are taking us down to hell and God does not want you to go down to hell. He doesn't want to have to judge you. But he will if you die without Jesus Christ as your saviour. Neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So you must be saved if you ever want to be in heaven. You cannot be in heaven apart from salvation. Now that salvation is only possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other way to heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, this is John 14 and verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We mustn't think that God is our Father. He's not. Unless we be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that's absolutely urgent and essential that we come to faith in Christ. That we realize our sinfulness before the Lord. 
and then put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The one who loved us enough to die for us on the cross. I'm sure you know the, the gospel message, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And so that your soul can be saved. If you come by faith, put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul can be saved. And that's what God wants. He wants to save your soul. He doesn't want us to go down to hell and that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be crucified upon the cross. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So yes, this... Um, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? As I said, that's the wrong thing to say because he thought that he could do something to get to heaven. We can't. The work has already been done by the Lord Jesus Christ dying on the cross, being crucified for us. He said unto him, What is written in the law, how readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbour as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do and thou shalt live. Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God. That is, salvation is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. In other words, as I said, salvation is the gift of God and it's not obtained by works, otherwise we could say we had earned our salvation and boast about it. Oh, yeah. Want to look me up on YouTube? Yeah. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thanks, brother. God bless you. Thanks for the encouragement. Yeah, James uh, chapter 1 verses 13 to 15 Now this was written to Christians Let no man say when he is tempted I am tempted of God For God cannot be tempted with evil Neither tempteth he any man But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and That's a strong desire And enticed uh, Then when lust hath conceived It bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Acts 13, verses 38 and 39. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Remember this message is the difference between the law and grace. So in Luke uh, 10 verse 28, the law, the law said, uh, Do this and thou shalt live. The problem is none of us can keep the law blameless. That's why none of us can have eternal life by keeping the law. In other words, keeping the commandments of the Lord. We cannot have eternal life by means, by that means. We've got to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got to put our faith in Him to be in heaven, to have forgiveness for our sins. Galatians 2 verse 16, the last part says, For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified, Remember Romans 8.3 For the, what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Romans 3 verses uh, 23 to 26 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You see, we're redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. 
The Lord Jesus Christ is absolutely perfect. He's set without sin. He knew no sin, did no sin, and in him is no sin. What a wonderful person he is. And he wants to be your saviour here tonight. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and put your faith in him? The one whom to know is life eternal. Yeah, so... Um, Yeah, and it's through faith in his blood. Titus 2, 11, the first part says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. So this salvation is offered to everybody. Every man, woman, boy or girl, God wants you to be with him for all eternity in heaven. But we cannot be there apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why it's absolutely urgent and essential that we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. Romans 3 verse 28, therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Again, Galatians 3 26, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. John 1 verse 17, uh, where we started for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So yeah, I hope you understood the message we're sinners in the sight of God. God wants to save our souls. The only way he can save us is through the Lord Jesus Christ, through his wonderful sacrifice upon the cross, the once for all sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is able, willing and able to save all that come unto God by him. That is by the Lord Jesus Christ. What have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you a child of God? As I said, for you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night.